Yes, Samzanzi, welcome back. It's your Feel Good Breakfast Show. Health Tuesday has never felt any better. We've been serving you this morning and we're going to carry on doing exactly that, especially in light of this overwhelming feeling of the 2023 mistrick results which oh, are coming oh. through. Yes, so we're going to be exploring what these results really mean. And Dr. Laura Fisher, an educational expert, is joining us to shed light on the importance of these results and the various opportunities that they open. So, officially, good morning. How are we doing? Uh, good morning. Good morning. Very well, thank you. Oh, it's good to have you. Aloha, Doc. Aloha. <laughs> Aloha. <laughs> okay, welcome back from Hawaii. Um, we, we need you in South Africa right now because mm. you're helping us steer the course. Yeah. And I think for young people at this particular gateway, there is so much pressure, self-imposed, not necessarily just from parents or whatever, it's society, yes, but you want it for yourself. Yes. You just don't know what's available. And I thought maybe a good place to start would be with the general picture of where we at are there trends that are driving changes in education when we think about what the matrix the world that they are moving into now mm. a lot has changed since i came out of a trick and, and <laughs> ryle came out of out of that that journey what's different yeah. how does it look now yeah i mean i think that there is a major shift in the educational landscape and um i think that that has been driven largely by the kind of increased awareness of AI in our world yeah. and what that's going to mean for future work um, and also what it means for how we perform in matric. You know, the way we used to think about academic achievement and educational success is actually required to, to change because the world of work is beginning to change. Uh, and uh, Sorry, just to jump off this, because we every facet of life is dealing with AI yeah. at the moment, and it's kind of released the genius, mm. because you don't have to just do parrot fashion learning anymore, because a lot of that kind of crunching can be done. It's terrifying, I think, for a lot of parents who don't know about it. Does this mean that we should all be rushing out and looking for an AI backup, or is it just a shift in the way that we think? Yeah, I think that, um, you know, there needs to be, it needs to be held in tension. So on the one hand, it is still very important that we do our best in testing environments, like in our matric exams. But on the other hand, our matric exams don't necessarily best test the critical skills that we need for the future. For sure. uh, problem solving, critical thinking, resilience, uh, determination, you know, all of those sorts of skills are somewhat captured in an exam, but also move far and beyond what you're able to score necessarily in an exam scenario. So I think we shouldn't all be running out for AI backup, yeah. but we should acknowledge, well, a lot of the knowledge base exists out there, and it's more about how we leverage and access um, and use this tool of AI to serve our own purposes and our own aspirations as uh, individuals and, and corporately as humanity. The outcome. Mm. Yeah. Think about the outcome. So, yeah. uh, with, with that outcome being quite important right now, and especially the result of matric exams being so like pertinent and such a big thing placed on kids, how exactly does this actually prepare us for the world and this landscape of new jobs that mm. exist? There's so many different types of jobs out there. There's these non-traditional types of work and just new jobs that you never even thought of. Yeah. How does this even relate to metric results these days? Is it affecting it in a way where we can say, well, this equals that, or is it completely different? Yeah, I mean, again, I think it's a little bit of both and. Mm. Um, mm. You know, obviously your matric examination score is important and you should be proud uh, of doing well. Um, and just to applaud all of the teachers and scholars who have got through their 2023 matric, I think it's a phenomenal yeah. feat. Um, but I think you're asking the right question, you know, what does it mean within a less traditional context? And I think, firstly, it really showcases to the person themselves where their strengths are sure. and possibly where their limitations are. Um, you know, it can demonstrate their commitment to, to um, achieving a desired outcome and that takes determination and that's going to put them in good stead for the future. Um, it also reflects their interests and their passions, uh, which is valuable in steering the course for your career. And um, I think it really shows evidence of a solid foundation and an ability to learn, which obviously employers of all um, different types are going to highly value as a person moves into the world of work. Okay. And they speak 
to who we are. I love this, this notion of understanding yourself before you make those big decisions. The thought that you're going to plot your life out yeah. before you've finished matric <laughs> is absurd. Yes. Um, it's How absurd even? to, to yeah. think along those lines. And I often think back, I did terribly at Latin, okay? I, did, I don't know if you can still do it even in schools now. But I go back to the learnings in the classical culture of Latin more than any other subject. Mm. You don't know what you're going to garner out of yeah. that until you know yourself. You have the opportunity to do online courses. Now that we've had this crash course on who we are, what our strengths are, what our weaknesses are, how can we use online courses and that kind of self-improvement where we can be quite focused yeah. on ourselves and what we want? How do we get the best out of that landscape? Yeah, I mean, you, you're making me have a bit of a chuckle thinking of Latin. The only <laughs> Latin phrase I know is carpe diem, which is seize the day, which is maybe really what it's all about. All you need, baby, you know, all I mean, you need. There's a world of online courses available. Uh, you just have to visit somewhere like Boston City Campus's website and you find out, wow, there's a whole lot of online short learning programs, one-year qualifications, and these enable you to really, as you say, get to know yourself better, dig into the skills that you have, and really apply yourself no matter what your matric score is. So I think the world of online and ongoing education is more and more accessible. It's affordable, it's flexible. Um, you can take courses that really spike and hone your interests and your passions. And it also demonstrates, again, a commitment to ongoing growth. Yes. That I don't get to the end of school and, wow, I'm finished with my growth journey and my learning journey. But actually, as the previous um, speakers said, you know, this is about a journey towards becoming sure. um, who you were created to be. So definitely in terms of the online courses, carpe diem. Carpe seize diem. The day, seize the day. The, the only Latin I can remember is <laughs> Eke in pectura est puella nomine Flavia. Which Whoa. is, look, in the picture there was a girl named Flavia. <laughs> Wow, that's We've done it. We've done it. Um, I absolutely love this. It is important because it matters to you, not to society, not to your mates who you are competing with in your class, not to your teachers, not to your parents. It must matter to you because learning is vitally important and a skill that you're going to continue to use throughout the rest of your life. 100%. I love it. percent indeed. I want to thank you again, Doc, for coming absolute through, for sharing pleasure. this advice with us right now. I hope you can also breathe and uh, look <laughs> forward to these results because it's a step in all the right directions. It's only that nothing else but for now though start to chat to you and find out exactly what you think about these matric results that are looming